All right, guys, new studio space that will be used on occasion. New record reaction out on the Patreon. The Beatles I yelled at that mic hard. The Beatles Magical Mystery Tour. Super excited. It was a fantastic record. Uh, the new space, you get to see it on Patreon. I don't know if we'll do it on the channel much. It's just kind of like a... I don't know. We'll do it sometimes. We live here. It's so easy. Uh, yeah, this is so the easy. recording space for like editing videos and stuff. Either way, go on Patreon, less than a cup of coffee, or other equivalent item of food or beverage that you'd like to yep. insert. Check the link in the description. Good. Open yeah. that link in a new tab. Don't be crazy. Watch this video and then go to the next tab and do, do your business. We'll see you there. See ya. Hey, guys. Hope you're having a great day as well as a great life. This was a great life. Now, interesting day today because the prompt for today was a little different than most days. Kind of about a bad song. Yeah, basically, like, what's a song a lot of your friends loved and enjoyed, but you never understood why they liked it? And one of the biggest comments we got was for Ebony and Ivory, a song that was by Paul McCartney and Stevie Wonder. <sighs> Dog, I didn't think they could do wrong, but what I will say is, like, as soon as I saw, like, the title pop up for when we were about to hit it, yeah, I forgot that, because I suggested this prompt to you, and I forgot that was the prompt. So yeah. I was like, dude, why are we hitting this? I've gotten DMs about this. Like yeah. m hundreds probably over the course of yeah. the channel saying, hey, this don't hit this song because yeah, it's a cause, not good song. Because we had a poll a way while back where this was an option on the poll. Yeah. And a lot of people commented and were just like, no. Like, no, yeah. no, 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 no. Yeah. And so I'm curious if we will share the same uh, reception of the track or yeah. if we'll find some way to appreciate it. I'm, I'm kind of scared to like it. Um, <laughs> I'm kind of hoping this breeds a new era because we hit bangers all the time. It's bangers on bangers. This is a yeah. this is a weird sex club in the mid '90s, right? But what I'm hoping for is this maybe breeds a new era where we can hear some shitty songs mm. and just you know gleefully listen together on bad music. I think that's really fun. It's like bat watching bad TV. That's fair. We've had really good times doing that. Yeah, making fun of bad so, TV. So, yeah. well, Ebony and Ivory. Let's see what happens. Let's do it. What we need to survive
interesting. Your boy had such a good time. And this came out in 87. <laughs> I had such a good time with that. Yeah? Yeah, I mean, it it felt like... Uh, I mean, it's so corny, right? It's so corny. Yeah, definitely corny. Like, it felt like one of those... Uh, when you go to the gymnasium when you're in, like, third grade and they have, like, some almost divorced couple come and sing you songs about, like, don't do drugs. Mm. Like, that's the feeling. It got so preachy so quick. Yeah, and I can see that. I feel like, because these are two of the best of all time. Like, literally the best of all time. That's, yeah, it's accurate. And what I've realized, this is my working theory up to this point. Mm -hmm. I think they're so good that they have imaginary numbers next to the magnitude of their songwriting. Yeah. So when they're working together, it becomes a bad song. Interesting. But you don't notice if it's any other time. Mm. An imaginary number is the square root of like negative one. So it's yeah. like when you multiply them together, it becomes a negative. It just becomes bad. Like, because mm. you would <laughs> never think that these two could make a bad song. But especially like the, mm hmm. Like, did, was somebody just in the studio like, you know, Paul, it doesn't, we, they need to understand, the audience need to understand that you're like on the same page as Stevie. And he's like, hmm, what if I go, mm. And he goes, yeah, let's get that on recording. Like, interesting. And his page just, we should live in harmony. Mm hmm. Like, how many takes of mm hmm did he have to do? Probably several. It felt like six to me. Yeah, feels an appropriate number. Six or three, but no, yeah. no, no, either one. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely interesting. I mean, I gotta be honest, I didn't think it was a terrible song. It was, it was just definitely, definitely corny. Definitely not something I would probably ever play on purpose. Something you'd probably hear like around Christmas time if you're at like the mall or something, maybe, and like, like not like just in the entire mm. mall, but in certain shops maybe as you walk in. Um, I don't know. Interesting. I mean, I, mean, I, I, I thought it was I actually have... genuinely bad. Yeah. Like it's I mean, the the problem is it's like the corniness that that aspect of it is something they're both usually so far away from. Like they're so they I've never felt like either one of them were corny. Like cliche where I'm like oh, what are you is, doing? This is true. And like this feels like they got conscripted to do this from like a Macy's or like a Dillard's. Oh, this feels God, like a Dillard's that's so commercial. True. That that's you know? so true. Yeah. And it's just silly. Because also, uh, now, to hand it to them, they might have helped solve racism, kind of. Because yeah. people on both sides of any aisle on this probably were like, this is not a good song. Mm. So they're like, you know, I... People I, were brought together in harmony in their distaste in yeah, some capacity. Yeah, I mean, just a silly, silly song. Mm. It's just, and there's also a lot of people who did like it. So, like, for those Those people, are the true racists, probably. Mm. Mm, interesting because they were like this Very helps my cause they shouldn't work together very interesting yeah I find it all interesting I find it all, yeah, I didn't I find like, it all wild I mean this is like a C minus I think of a song it felt like a cute attempt like yeah I mean I liked like this you have to know it probably came from the right place to some capacity like you, you know think? what dude I actually don't I really think that it was it was probably and this is my assumption like uh -huh. Paul being like we could end racism and he was like well what if i came up with like a really cool metaphor stevie wonder is awesome i like stevie wonder what does he play piano man mm. why can't we work together like black and white like keep why can't we just do that and i think he like pitched the song as like what are you gonna do if you're stevie wonder no probably be like yeah we could probably do that let me add some cool little piano stuff he's like it sounds great let's do it i could definitely see how at first you're like not a bad idea but then you actually get it down you get it like, halfway through and you're just like oh, i'm glad this isn't on my album I'm glad it's on his. Yeah. His name's not even on the track. I mean, you know it's Stevie because it's Stevie, but like. Yeah. So, such an interesting. I'm glad, yeah. I'm glad it's there. I think it's funny. Yeah, I mean, this is a cool art piece. Wildness. It's nice to know that Paul McCartney and Steve, uh, Stevie Wonder are human, right? They are fallible. Yeah. Like, this is the one mark on an otherwise stellar record. Yeah, I, I feel. The thing is, I don't have that much distaste for it. I don't enjoy it. I feel like a a, a strong like, kind of like neutrality. But I wonder if that's just like coping. I'm just like coping, like because I don't, I don't actually yeah. feel much of emotional response at all in either direction. Yeah, it didn't make me mad. Like I, like, I feel very just kind of like, okay. I, I just know if we had heard this song from not them, mm. we'd be like, this is the silliest, stupidest thing I've ever heard. Mm. Like, you're just being too preachy unnecessarily. Especially if you outwardly enjoy those artists, like in general, or if you just never heard, if you'd never heard anybody else's mm. music but this song, and this song came on, you for sure would be like, "What is going on?" I know, and I'm saying if, if that guy's friend really liked the artist, oh yeah, and then yeah, it's yeah. like now he has to like face it, 
to his friend. He's like, yeah, like you like, you like Paul McCartney? That's wild. Yeah. Like, did you hear that weird one where he tried to end racism with a piano metaphor? <sighs> yeah, it gets a little tough to defend slightly. Yeah. Um, Interesting. Damn, well, it's hilarious. I love it. I'd well, love it for that reason. We're now more cultured than 10 minutes ago. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I'll be forever changed when I look at a piano or a keyboard. Oh, Lord. Nice. Nice. <laughs> All Just, right. Uh, Dude, I kind of want to hit more bad songs. Let us know another bad song to yeah. hit at some point in the future. Yeah, we'll see and, uh, you guys there. Yeah, we'll see you. Peace. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you want to get a good time watching that video, go and upload the video. Subscribe if you're not already. Check out some other videos here on the YouTube or on the Patreon if you want extra juicy stuff you can't get on YouTube because they block it here.